good morning viewers you are welcome to this presentation on sunthi or adrak the dry and wet form of the same drug respectively here the pictorial representation of the drug sunthi or adrak now let us see the sanskrit synonyms of wet ginger or adrak the synonyms include adrak moolaja adra saka gulma moola anupaja here gulma moola refers to the naughty rhizomes and anupaja here refers to as because it grows in moist places like anupdesha so it is termed as anupaja Sanskrit synonyms of dry ginger include Sunti, Mahosadha, Vishwa, Vishwa Vesaja, Nagara, Vishwa Osadha, Sringa Vera, Rahu Chatra, etc. Among them, Ushana is because of its hot in nature, Katu Granthi and Katu Bhadra as because it has pungent taste or Katu Rasa. Sunti which is used in kapha butters of Ikharas. that's why it is called sunti and sunthi both are correct adraka as yes, because which is cause of more salvation that makes your mouth watery that's why it is called adraka now let us see the classical categorization where this drug has been placed in our ayurvedic classics susruta has mentioned it under Pipalyadi and Trikatu Dravyas. Bhagavad also has mentioned it under Pipalyadi Gad. Charak has mentioned it under Triptigna Mahakasai, which are group of herbs useful to relieve pseudo cessation. That is called Triptigna. Arsogna Mahakasai, group of herbs useful in treating piles or hemorrhoids dipania mahakasai group of herbs useful in improving digestion strength sula prasamana mahakasai group of herbs useful in relieving abdominal pain trishna nigrahana group of herbs useful in relieving thirst susut samhita has mentioned in pipalari gan astanga sangraha has mentioned it under arsogna gana Group of herbs useful in treating piles, deeper younger. Group of herbs useful in improving the digestive system. Bhav Prakasa has mentioned it under Sad Ushana, that is called Sad Ushana, and Pancha Kola. Now let us see the classification and varieties of Sunthi. The first one is Sunthi and Adrak. Sunthi is the dry form adraka is the wet form according to kayadim nigantu raja nigantu bhav prakash nigantu priya nigantu and modern phala nigantu this has been classified into the dry form and wet form the dry is called sunthi and the wet form is called adraka but in modern literature in modern modern phytochemistry we get peeled ginger red sand coated ginger lime ginger jamaica ginger cochin ginger african ginger indian or bengal ginger and raton ginger these are different varieties as per modern phytochemistry now if we go into the systematic classification of this drug we get that it is under kingdom plenty sub kingdom is panorgamia division is angiospermy class is monocotyledony Subclass is Petaloidae. Series comes under two epigyne, which is in which the ovary will be inferior. The natural order or the family is Gingivaraceae. The genus is Gingiver. That's why the species name is Gingiver officinal. Now, the morphology ginger is two to four feet tall perennial herb with grass like leaves. The chemical constituents include a curumin, 
বি ডি কুরকুমিন বি বর্বরিন ডি বর্নিয়াল চিত্রাল ডি ক্যাম্পিন চিত্রনেলল জেরানিয়ল জিঞ্জেরল এ এন বি জিঞ্জিবেরিনস জিঞ্জিবেরল জিঞ্জেরন জিঞ্জেরলস প্যারাডল জিঞ্জেরন এ জিনার গ্লাইকোলিপিডস এ বি অ্যান্ড সি জিঞ্জের ডিয়ল অ্যান্ড জিঞ্জেরন বি উইথ সি দিজ আর মেজর কেমিক্যাল কনস্টিটুয়েন্টস প্রেজেন্ট ইন সুন্থি এজ পার আমার কৌশা ফ্রেশ জিঞ্জার ইজ টার্মড এস আর্ড্রাকা অ্যান্ড শৃঙ্গাভেরা হোয়ার এজ ড্রাই জিঞ্জার ইজ টার্মড এস নাগারা অ্যান্ড বিশ্বহৈসেজা দ্য ডিস্ট্রিবিউশন ইজ কালটিভেটেড অলমোস্ট থ্রু আউট ইন্ডিয়া নাও লেট আস সি দ্য মেডিসিনাল প্রপার্টিজ এজ পার আয়ুর্বেদা দ্য রসা অর টেস্ট অফ ইট ইজ কাটু অর পাঞ্জেন দ্য গুণ অর দ্য কোয়ালিটিজ আর গুরু হ্যাভি রুক্সা ড্রাই তীক্ষ্ণা ইজ স্ট্রং অ্যান্ড পিয়ারসিং নেচার বিপাক উইল বি মধুর দ্যাট আন্ডার গোজ সুইট টেস্ট কনভার্সন আফটার ডাইজেশন দ্য বিড়িয়া ইজ উষ্ণ অর হট পটেন্সি অ্যান্ড দ্য ইফেক্ট অফ ইফেক্ট অন ক্রিডোসা উইল বি ইট উইল ব্যালেন্স স্পেশালি পারফর্ম নাও দ্য পার্ট ইউজ অ্যান্ড ডোসেজ আর The part to be used is rhizome. Doses, if you take as fresh juice, then 5 to 10 ml or 1 to 2 ESF. Powder, if it is consumed, then it should be 1 to 2 grams. If it is syrup based, then 2 to 5 ml in a single or divided dose per day. Now here, we can see a classical reference of the drug snigdho sna katuka sunthi brishya sofa kapha aruchin hanti vata udara swasa pandu slipada nasini means snigdha usna here the drug is snigdha or anthuas usna usna refers to the potency or birja of it Katuka, it is of Katurasa, Sunthi, which is Vrishya, that is aphrodisiac, Sofa, that relieves inflammation, Kapha, Kapha is a disorder, and Aruchi, that is decrease in your taste. Hanti Vata Udara, that decreases or diminishes Vata Udara, that is abdominal distension due to Vata. Or gaseous distension, which is termed as bloating. Swasa is the bronchial asthma. Pandu is anemia. Sleepada. Sleepada is nothing but your filaria. Nasini, that it cures these diseases. As far Dhanvantari Nidhantu. Another verse in classics refers to Nagarang, Deeparang, Vrishyang, Grahi, Hridhyang. বিবন্ধনুত রুচ্যং লঘু স্বাদুপাকং স্নিগ্ধ উষ্ণং কফবাটজিত দ্যাট অলসো রেফার্স টু নাগর দ্যাট ড্রাই ফর্ম ইজ দীপন ইট ইজ ডাইজেস্টিভ দেন ভৃশ্য ইট ইজ অ্যাফ্রোডিসিয়া গ্রাহি ইট ইজ স্তম্ভন হৃদ্য ইট ইজ গুড ফর কার্ডিও ডিসঅর্ডার্স বিবন্ধনুত দ্যাট রিলিফস কনস্টিটিউশন অলসো রুচ্যং ইজ it will increase your taste laghu is guna swadupaka is badhur vipaka stigdha it is anthus ushnam it is ushna biryadra kapha what is it it relieves or it normalizes or it balances the kapha and vata here it is to be noted that grahi and vibandhanut a drug which is grahi cannot can never relieve your vibandha or cannot relieve 
purgation cannot give purgation but it is a special consideration also it can be found in Bhavrakas that this drug is grahi of course it is grahi by virtue of its Ushna Guna it will absorb the moisture in your stool so that it becomes grahi Bibandhanut here refers to even though it is not a laxative it can break down the stool or mala into small small pieces but it will not do purgation it will not eliminate out the stool it will just cut into or divide the stool into pieces fresh ginger benefits which is ardraka or vishwavishajya usually all spices with pungent taste are unaphrodisiac and increase butter dosa except pippali which is long pepper and ardraka which is ginger green ginger or fresh ginger is rochaka that is appetizer it is deepana improves digestion strength rishya which is aphrodisiac its juice is useful in butter and kapha disorders and it is useful in divanda or constipation also now let us see the dry ginger benefits here you can see dry ginger is unctuous or oily that promotes digestion it is aphrodisiac it's hot in potency it balances butter and kapha sweet in vipaka cardiotonic and it is palatable madhura vipaka undergoes sweet taste conversion after digestion it is brishya or aphrodisiac that improves vigor rochana that improves taste and relieves the anorexia hridya it acts as cardiotonic it is congenial for her sasneha has some amount of unctuousness or oiliness it is laghu it is light to digest it is deepana that improves digestion now let us see some ayurvedic preparations with ginger the first one is trikatu churana it is famous combination of ginger black pepper and long pepper sunthi marich and pippali used in obesity and indigestion treatment and it is one among the most adorable drugs now in the days of corona or covid 19 ardraka krita indicated in gastritis indigestion and anorexia so bhagya sunthi used in the treatment of complications that arise during postnatal care of the mother gular drakam used in the treatment of chronic respiratory conditions like bronchitis asthma and running nose sothagna lepa used as paste applied extremely to relieve inflammation and swelling as in cases of blunt injuries and arthritis now researches have been done on sunthi to have or to prove the analgesic and anti-inflammatory activities of the drug it is analgesic that is termed as painkiller and anti-inflammatory that relieves inflammation research based medical facts about ginger says that 750 to 2000 milligram ginger powder during the first three to four days of menstrual cycle is useful for primary dysmenorrhea that is pain during menstruation gingivaracy extracts are clinically effective hypoalgesic agents and the available data show a better safety profile than non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug that means it is better than NSAIDs which are much more harmful to our body thank you thank you so much for watching